Oops. Pull it out to the sides. Kind of flop it over a little. And I place it a little off to the side of the hole. And then I start stitching. I always stitch from this corner first, like two, maybe about two over, and then I start stitching the other direction, catching one loop or one or two loops on the pig, and then at least two loops on the ear. You can do this in a more of a mattress stitch if you want. It's entirely up to you. So it would be on about there. And so now we're going to go around the back so we can catch this end a little on the bottom. Okay? So we're going to grab one from the back here. This is not perfection. We're just kind of making sure that it's not going to come all off course. Nice and stable especially if um, a toddler will have it. Here we are at the other end. And we're literally just going to catch the end here. The end of the ear. Right in there. And we're going to go about two or three batters down and then come back up to the front of the ear. Okay, and that really stabilizes it. And then it just kind of flops down. See? See? Make it stretch out and make it fold over. You know, and then we'll connect the other one. I'll see you back here when you connect the other side, right about there. You know, a little past, uh, a little to the side of the um, hole. Okay. All right. Once you're sure your ears are where you want them to be, then you should do your bind off and um, bury your tails. Okay. I just saying because I didn't say too bind off or anything. That's just to make sure you don't have to cut um, excess yarn to try and stitch it back in, okay? <laughs> 